Hello, hello, hello. It is me, the guy that said he was going to be on yesterday. Oops. <laughs> uh, right, we're going to try this. This is Fahrenheit. That's how I remember it when I played it on PlayStation 2. But in America, it was called Indigo Prophecy. Now, this is the remastered version, which, as far as I know, is uncut. Now, the only problem with this game is it doesn't like to work. Um, it, I have so much problems trying to get this to work. I'm actually in a windowed mode just now. Thankfully, you can't see that. But this could be a very, very short short stream, to be honest. Because uh, I don't know how this game's going to handle. I was hoping to use mouse and keyboard, but because I'm on a windowed screen, the mouse can go outside of the window, which is going to cause a lot of problems. So I'm going to try controller today and see how this goes. Hopefully, up and down works <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> so we're going to start a new movie and see how this goes. Now I was supposed to, I was, I was supposed, to, I was supposed to start. At, I was hoping to start at seven o'clock this morning, this afternoon. But it's taken me oh, an hour and seven minutes just to get this game to work. So here's hoping this is going to be a good stream. Let's do the tutorial. Uh, yes. Oh, left and right's not working at the moment. I might have to use a bit of mouse on this. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, first day. Hi, my name is David Cage. I'm the writer and director of Fire Knight. Hello. I just thought there's a few things you should know before you get started. I'd like you to meet my friend Bob. You'll be controlling him Ooh, while he's you're learning. Let's begin with something simple. <clears throat> Move toward the mark on the floor. All right. Let's let's see if we can do this. Okay. Good news is I've got analog control. Start. Uh, push the A button. Oh God. Wait, wait, A. Put, hold down A buttons to move left and right. Perfect. Very now cool. you know how to move about. You're also going to have to be able to observe your environment. To do so, you'll have direct control of the cameras. Come on, give it a try. Uh, down is up, up is down, good. As we all know, that's the proper way of playing games. <clears throat> uh, left and right, I'm taking it. Oh, it's left and right top ones, okay. Okay. You can also look around you and see exactly what you want to see. Use the right analog stick to move the camera. Ooh, look, we can look up and down. I don't know what we're looking for, but uh, we're looking for something. But you won't be just looking around you in Fire Night. You'll also have to interact with your environment. Go to the door. Okay, there's a door right over here. Hello, door. Do you see the symbol at the top of the screen? I do. It indicates the movement you have to make to execute the action. Do it slowly to really feel you're controlling your character's hand. Go ahead. Okay, so it's analog control. Nice. That's cool. Now that you know how to move about, use the cameras and interact with the environment, we can move on to more serious stuff. Far Night has action okay. sequences where your character's life will be in danger. I'd better explain this to you before you find yourself on your own. I think the only thing I'm not too fond on is you look left and right, you don't use the analog. If you go left and right with your analog, it does that. When you let go, it goes back. You look around, you've got to use left and right uh, as an L, L, L1, we'll say, and L2 if we're using a PlayStation. I'm using an Xbox One controller. But. I'm not a fan of that. I would prefer to have full motion with the analog sticks, but this is an old game. When this symbol appears at the top of the screen, it means your character is going to have to make a <coughs> physical effort. You'll see. You'll be exhausted too. Mm -hmm. You have to press each side alternately and regularly if you want to succeed. Oh, looks like you need more training. Try again. Okay, you man. have to press each Fuck side off. alternately <laughs> and regularly if you want to succeed. Oh, looks like you need more training. Try again. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay. Okay, I can see why... I can see why the... Um they want you to use that one now. Okay, makes a lot hey, more sense. Hey, not bad. Now for something a bit more difficult. 
you're gonna find yourself facing all kinds of dangers in Fahrenheit. You're gonna need a cool head and good reflexes if you want to survive. Let's see how it works. Oh, oh great. Uh, God, it does not give you a lot of time, does it? That's what can happen if you don't have good reflexes. <laughs> it, Try again. Yeah, I didn't know I was using both. See, my 2005 me would have been a lot uh, would have been a lot easier to do this. I'm an old man now. My okay, reflexes are really I see bad. You've got the hang of it. Now we can move on to something else. <coughs> you can also choose Ooh. what you want to say in the dialogues. Excuse me. Night. Let's give it a try. Um, what do you think of my friend Bob? He's creepy as fuck. Sexy or nice? Let's do this. Hey nice. Bob, did you hear that? Right, I see you've got the hang of the dialogues. In Final Night, you'll only have a limited amount of time to make up your mind. So you'd better think fast. Now, Hello let's there. Hey, your Mary? mental elf. In Final Night, your actions modify the psychological state of your character. Each time it changes, the symbol will appear on screen. Take care of your character, otherwise you may fall into depression, madness, or oh, I remember that. commit suicide. It's been a very long time since I got something Nearly important. 20 years. In Far Night, you'll be able to control all the main characters. Be careful. Your every action will have consequences for the story. A word of advice, think before you act. That's it. Yeah, sorry about that. That's the, the joys of Steam not running there the game. There are still lots of things to discover, and only apologize. I'll leave you the surprise of finding them for yourself. Now it's up to you to play. And be careful, you're entering a world where anything can happen. I wonder if there's a way of uh, telling Steam not to tell anybody what I'm doing. You mean like, I don't really want them to uh, people to know I'm playing a game. You mean they can check my, they check the friends list thing. I wonder if there's a way of uh, fixing that as such. Yeah, this, well, I was just saying when I started Things are it, never quite what they seem. It'd be a good hour to get this game we to work. think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my Maybe it's karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. <laughs> Nothing's ever going to be the same again. This is a weird game, by the way. Especially the last part of it. But then again, I might not play this the same way that I played it last time. Now, this game actually was banned on Twitch for a good many years. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. There's nothing else happens board, outside of New York. Destiny chose for the last big game. <laughs> I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, and my well, life night. descended into chaos. <gasps> I thought they would have probably remastered this by now. Also, I can't remember the Statue of Liberty being that far away, but then again, I've never been to New York. I've only played Spider-Man games. <laughs> so you haven't streamed in a while, Mary. Have you just taken some time away? Or just no time? Yeah, sorry, I forgot you said you were sick. Is it the, is it the C? And it ends in vid? I'm still coughing because of that. But you haven't tested. Probably should. <laughs> Not now, anyway. <laughs>
It's stabby stabby time. I've still got some of. I've st I haven't got a fever, but I've got some of the other things you just mentioned. It just it never seems to go away, even though I've tested myself and I'm I'm not positive anymore. I'm negative, that is. Very strange. But I've still got some of that. That's what, three, four weeks since? Pointing us? Or asking us to grab our hand? I'm not really sure. What? What, what have I done? You have killed somebody, mate. You have killed them. And the crow saw you. The crow's gonna rat on you. I, I didn't want... It was like a dream. Ew. It's been a long time since I've played this. I'm not expecting to get everything right. Quick. I, I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Uh, oh, we can push it. Good, good, good. Uh, when this icon in the upper right corner is on the screen, your progression is automatically saved on the hard disk. I thought it was going to say on hard. I'm like, am I playing this in hard mode? Okay, so what we need to do now is... Next thing would be probably clean up the mess. Oh no no no! What are you doing? Push the wrong button. Duh, it's barred up. I can't get out this way. No, that's good. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, uh, let's. Uh... Okay, uh, let's clean it again. Oh, we've got to do it. Oh, okay. Okay, that's that like, cleaned. What we need to do now is get rid of that, and then probably get ourselves uh, washed up. Uh, out, out of, of order. order. Okay, let's try the other one. I'm, I'm actually quite anxious to play this. I'm quite nervous as well. I'm just everything just now because. I have not seen this in a very... I have not played this in a very long time. What have I forgot to do? The murder weapon. Where's the murder weapon? Is there a murder weapon here? I'm bleeding. I must have cut my wrist with a knife. Both of my okay. forearms are cut too. See if there's anything over here. Uh, no, go back. Here. The condoms. Empty. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we can do in here. We close the door here. I think we need to get out of here. There's nothing else we can do. All I remember this is it's a very good game, but it's very weird. Right, let's let's get out of here. Uh, we're going to go out here, uh, oh. and we're going to try to take the back exit. Sir? The waitress. She noticed something. I'm done for. Yes? I think that you might have forgotten to pay your bill. Oh, yes, of course. I... Excuse me. The bill for the meal. How could I forget that? Well, we Quick, didn't know about Before that. somebody finds the body. Some money down. And we're going to walk. Oh, we should go I think we should go this way because the cop hasn't seen us yet. Let's uh, see if we can go out this way. Okay, let's get out here. I Hopefully. need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Things. We shouldn't probably run, but at the same time, can we go down here? Here we go, we got away before the cops saw everything.
And there shouldn't be anything here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, crap. I did not realize there was still blood there. Where did he go? Nobody goes anywhere. <clears throat> A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Oh, he's got, do you see how he's got twitchy fingers? Twitchy. Doc's Diner. So this will be... Yeah. I'm gonna actually I'm not gonna say anything because I have played this. It's just trying to remember what happened. That's it. And I'll try not to spoil it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. Oh <laughs> you're the boss, Carla. <clears throat> All right, so let's go inside. Uh, in five years on the force, I've seen some murders, but you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else, but I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant, as if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Mm -hmm. Now, with these streams, depending on how well they do, I might continue these on YouTube and not complete it on Twitch. Um, just depends how it goes. I mean, we'll see how it goes at the end of the stream. But uh, this is one game I really want to get back into. So if if it doesn't too well, do too well in here, it might do better on YouTube. So I might play the rest of this on there, depending. I still haven't uploaded last day. How's it going, uh, McCarthy? Wednesdays. Evening, Inspector. I've been Tuesdays, waiting for you. Uh, hey, stream. Tyler. Hey, Mark. Anyway, so, yeah. what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Oh, uh, witness. Did anybody notice anything strange? Oh, no, no, nobody saw anything. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Uh, Who is the victim? His name was uh, John Winston, a regular oh, here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. What were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's coffee is the best in the East End. Uh, is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Okay, the symbol appears at the top right of the screen. You can switch characters. Press the B button any time, at any time uh, to switch characters. Cool. All right, let's uh, see what we can do here. Can we actually rotate? Oh, we can rotate the, the camera angles, but not the camera as such. Oh. Let's have a quick look at this to start with. Huh. Here's his fork, but where's the knife? Ooh. Hmm. Let's uh, figure out what all these things do. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. Gotta remember to check with the waitress on that. Something under the table. I never noticed this. Look, the Tempest by Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Yeah, can't trust anybody that's on There's caffeine. a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for prints? You got it, Carla. Well, well, the coffee's not on the bill. Okay, uh, let's talk to the waitress. Well, it's Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Uh, you. Have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. 
I don't know why I said that angrily. I've seen all sorts Anger. of this place, Power. down and out as <laughs> junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times, but murder? That's a new one. <sighs> Poor Johnny was such a nice guy. Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I, I didn't really pay any attention to him. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. Could anyone else have come in? No, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. <laughs> if somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. A motive Did you suspect. get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No, I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. Heard facts before cup of there coffee. There was a cup of coffee on his table. Do you remember whether he was the one who ordered it? A cup of coffee? No. No, I'm certain he, he didn't order any coffee. Ooh. Was there anyone else sitting at a table? It's strange. I, I can't really remember. I remember him very clearly, but I'm not sure if he was with anyone or not. I think somebody else Can was there. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my God. That's sure. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful, because that happens a lot here, people forgetting to pay their bill. What happened next? The man came back, he paid his bill and left. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized... See, if I had done that, this wouldn't have happened. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You, wait. Yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push it. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. Oh my God, if I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. Wow. I'll do whatever you think I can <laughs> to I'm help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now. Oh, and try to next get thing to I need to do is probably Martin, go we'll make the sure bathroom. you get home, okay? <clears throat> so I think I did pretty good there. Probably not with playing the first guy, because uh, I should have played the paid the bill. Hello there. <laughs> Bring me four fried Hi. chickens and a cup. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, we're, are we playing? Oh, we need to. Uh, <laughs> we, we need to get up. <laughs> right. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go and check the bathroom. I have played this a long time ago, like when it first came out, a long time ago. Right, so let's do this. Oh, look, she's, she's checking herself out. Not very cop-like to do that probably, but... So, first things first. 
It's uh Blood on the mop. The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? Here it. Why oh. is there blood here? Shit, I should have cleaned up. Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. Uh oh, I fucked up. Uh -oh. <laughs> no trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Oh, we probably shouldn't walk over that. The thing. Oh, what's it? Oh shit, the knife! Did I leave the knife here? No. Oh, it left the knife. The table knife covered in blood. Obviously, the murder weapon. Killer used his silverware to stab his victim. That would seem to indicate that the murder wasn't premeditated. Can't believe it left the knife. Hi, what an idiot. I want you to verify that Garrett has lifted the prints off this knife handle. Have him check out the blood on the blade as well. Okay. Damn, I have screwed up big time. Can he Do you know if anyone him? has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, well, right, I get it. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. I can't remember what happens with that, to be honest. But, uh, well, we'll find out. The toilet's buggered. <clears throat> if there's anything over here, can you check it? We shouldn't put your hands in something Just like that. Just what exactly are you doing, Tyler? I'm checking for clues. What do you think? Uh, we use the hand dryers? Hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. Maybe the killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. <laughs> I don't remember that song. I think we discussed this already, haven't we? Oh, let's have a piss while she's here. Tyler! What? This is a restroom, isn't it? No, this is a crime scene. It's cool, I'm done. <laughs> Must be all that coffee I've been drinking to try and stay awake. Should we wash our, We should probably wash our hands. Oh no, we lost... Yeah, we can't wash our hands, great. <laughs> There's nothing there, right? So, let's... See. Can we look at the door? Are you going to let me look at the door? Can we change it? There we go. Hey, Carla. I'm going to take a look outside, see if I can find anything. Footprints! Hey, footprints. Ah, cool. Maybe they belong to the killer. Wait, is there something there? Oh, okay, it's just I can go back inside. I don't think there's anything out here that we need to worry about. Alright, I think we've done pretty much everything we can do. Can we phone people? Frank, can you verify all of the calls that came through this phone tonight? <coughs> you got it, Carla. Here we go. Got neutral. I don't think there's anything else over here I need to worry about. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Hmm. Don't think there's anything else we can do in here. Unless the jukebox has something on it. All right. I think it's time to go. Then again, how do we go? This, this is this guy's. Tyler's got the keys to the car. I better go find him. Or, let's get Tyler to come to her. Oh, it's Americans. They're this. They're always the wrong way around. Man, I 
I can't keep my eyes open. I'm gonna go see if Kata's done yet. What? She's right there! <laughs> she's right next to you! Ready to go? Uh, Carla? Carla, she's really Carla. Else. She's not always easy to get along with, but she's the best damn cop I know. Oh, he fancies her. That was a fancy smile. Man, I can't keep my eyes open. I'm gonna go see if Carla's done yet. Oh. Yeah, I thought we were doing that. Wait, wait how did you get over there? Right, Carla. Carla. I see Carla. There we go. Loose. Did you find anything, Tyler? <laughs> For that, I'd have to be able to keep <laughs> my, my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Keep up the good work. Uh, right, uh, I don't know why he keeps doing that. We should be in there. There we go. Let's leave. You ready to go, Tyler? I think oh, I've yeah. seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. Ooh, now let's no, go. We're good. Let's head home. We could go back okay. inside, but I think we've seen everything. Cool. Carla agrees to go. Let's get into the car before she changes her mind. Tires <laughs> are very snowy. They should remake this game, actually. I think this would be a really good game to remake. I mean, it's already been remastered because we're playing that just now, but... Oh, it, was, it looks like the car was floating there. There's a the crow. The crow is a witness. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, this is a remastered version. A nightmare. It was all just a higher tech te uh, textures and all. I didn't kill anyone. I'm actually playing it in windowed mode because the game crashes. <laughs> uh, if you have it in full screen, it keeps changing the resolution, even though it's supposed to be 1080. Because I've told it to, uh, it just dies on me. So windowed mode seems to fix a lot of the problems. That's why I'm using controller as well dreaming. because it all really happened. I don't want to move my mouse out the window. Get ready and go to work. If I move my mouse over the window, out the window, the game will stop. Okay, we're in the apartment, oh, Mike. My head. It feels like somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. Wait a second. He looks identical to the uh, robot. Can we play some music? Hey, you're listening to KWN 605, and it's now time for the Weather Flash with Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Peter. My advice for today is dress very warmly before setting foot outside. It was extremely cold last night, and in some places the snow has turned into sheets of... Oh, okay, it's turning off by itself. That's too long. <laughs> hey, we've got books, apparently. Thus spoke Zarathustra. By it could be random. I've read it so many times, I know half of it by heart. Okay. Eh, let's try the... Oh, oh, we can bandage yourself. That should yourself. help my migraine. Bandage yourself up or... Take, reads, yep. Don't take, take with alcohol. Okay, no alcohol. Wait, can we actually turn on... No. Maybe they have taken out the... Uh, the, uh, the music. Or not. Uh, I think first things first is, where does this go? Oh, it's coats. Well, we probably should have a shower first. I'm sure he must have a, a shower room. I think that's the way out. Is that a bad idea? Does he... He must have a shower in here, right? My parents, Marcus and me. Ah, that's what it is. We're not there yet, then. Somebody died in an accident, it looks like. Can we sit down? Let's uh, see what's on the weird computer. He's got an airplane. A Spitfire, is it? Inbox! You have no new message. You, where? You have no new message. It shouldn't be messages. Can't, use, can't go to the World Wide Web or anything like that. Uh, oh well, no, nobody loves us. Okay, let's let's, uh, let's, let's get out then. 
I'm taking it. Uh, there must be a shower room in here somewhere, right? Let's say. Oh, that. And we put some clothes. My wrists are still bloody. Gotta do something about that. Okay, let's uh, hopefully this is not the way out. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, somebody's ringing. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? Hello? It's Batman. Lucas, it's good to hear from you. I thought I'd call to find out if maybe you wanted to go to Mom and Dad's tomb together. And to be honest, I thought it might be a good excuse to get back in touch with you. I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. Whoa, his ton moved there, but his phone didn't. I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. A very angry face. Okay, uh, let's uh, rotate round and let's see if we can find the hi fi. Uh, taking it, the hi fi is over. Sorry? Taking it, the hi fi is over here. Tunes, here we go. Here we go, Mike. Oh! I can't play this for long. You could probably guess that it's going to give me a copyright strike. So we'll probably have to leave it there. I'm so sorry. But uh, at least you got to hear a little bit of it. <laughs> there we go. So I, I don't really want to take a chance with getting a copyright strike. That was very nice, though. <laughs> yeah, that's singing. That's definitely going to be a naughty thing. You got YouTube open. The, yeah, that's a good way, isn't it? Well, there's something down here. Uh, what we'll do is let's get the bondages on first. I know it's bandages. I just like saying bondages. It sounds cooler. To me. Uh, first things first, let's have a shower. Hopefully there's going to be no nudity in this part of the game. There is, there is later on. Get very low polygon boobies. That was the quickest shower ever. I don't think I've ever met somebody that's had a shower that quick. Now we have a pee pee. Hey! That's the, also the quickest pee I've ever seen. Okay, let's uh, do medicine. Or, oh, it's ba bandages. We're doing bandages. Was this cyberpunk intro? Head chopping off, blood fouting, shooting from. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Cyberpunk's a great game, though. There we go. We have a uh, kind of X Men look to us just now. <laughs> oh, Jesus! God, even I jumped there! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh. Eh. Probably should do that. We'll get our bandages wet. <laughs> That's not just me. That's okay. Let's look at ourselves. We're Batman. He kind of looks a little bit like Michael Keaton, but not like an angry Michael Keaton. Okay, I think it's time to... What's over here? Constipation. New York police, please open the door. Get ready. What for? Oh, shit. Hey, what's that? Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. Wait, what? Oh, it's telling us what's happening next. My head. I must be losing my mind. I was wondering what the hell was going on there. Does that mean the cops are going to be showing up? Let's take Keys that. To my apartment. I'll grab them when I'm ready to leave. 
Oh, okay. Right. Let's let's uh, let's get ourselves some clothes then, because if a cop comes to us, the last thing we want to see, it, the last thing he wants to see is uh, bandages on her, on herself. Uh, oh, wrong mate. Up here. Let's get her some clothes on. Okay. Let's get some clothes. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Do that. We need to get rid of the um, the sheets. The sheets and a, is it a rug or a fish or something. Okay. The sheets are full of blood. Pick them up then. I can't go back to bed. I'm not tired anyway. I don't want you to go back to bed. I want you to pick up the sheets. <clears throat> this will hide the blood in case anyone comes in the room. Okay, so that was Change the first the thing. Later. The next thing was there's a f something on the carpet, wasn't it? On the carpet, I think. Oh, this thing here. Get the fudge. This thing. <laughs> oh, oh. Pick it up. Clothes that I was wearing last night. They're covered in blood. I better not leave them there. Right, we'll take them and put them into. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Get back. I think that was it. I think that's all we needed to do, wasn't it? Okay, I think that's it. Uh, what we need to do now is pick up the letter thing, get the keys, and get the hell out of here before the police show up. Murderer! Looking for a murderer or some shit. Massacre in East End Restaurant. An especially horrible murder was committed last night in the restroom yeah, of... Yeah, we know that. We did it. <laughs> right, let's get the keys and... Oh, crap! New York Police! Please open the door. I think that was it, isn't it? They know. They, they've come to arrest me. We can go at the... Can we go at the back? Open up. Just a minute, I'm coming. Oh, okay. I can't wait for that. Find any evidence where am I? I don't know where I am. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Uh, we did that already as far as I can see. Sir, this is the New York police. I must insist that you open this door immediately. I think we're okay. Hello, Mr. Mustache. I'm sorry to make you wait like that. I, I was in the shower. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? No. Eh. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit, was done. I cut myself on some broken glass and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? Eh. Uh, would it be okay? Yes. Come in. <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. I think we've... That was it, right? I think we've removed everything. Hopefully. What happened to your wrist, sir? I told you I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Hopefully this is good. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> yes. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. I understand. Long, Mr. Kane. Bye. Here we go. First part done. I think we can strum some guitar maybe. Who's that crow? Crow's following us. After what happened last night, I'm not really in the mood to play the guitar. No, I won't play guitar. And what's the crow saying? What's the crow saying, Tess? What are you gonna say? Oh, 
Oh. Ah. Oh, there's a seagull with cars in it. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I would like to see this game redone, remade. Oh, we can punch the bag. Punch the bag. Oh, it's not going to let us, is it? Yeah, well, do you have to be in a certain area to use the bag? You do. I'm in no condition. My forearms still hurt. Okay. Right, I think uh, the next thing we probably do is see if there's food. We get to do food. Again, there's. Oh. Uh, yes. Duck soup. Okay, there's uh, nothing in the freezer. Is that for milk? Uh, I'm sure we could drink some milk. Can't remember the last time I've seen a carton like that. At all. Uh, is there anything over the side? Oh. oh no! We're not supposed to drink! We're not supposed to drink! Uh, put the drink away! No! Put the drink away! I didn't say to drink it! Uh oh. That's not good. And that's the end of my story. I mixed alcohol Shit. and Shit. I lost consciousness. A suicide or accident was the difference. I'll never know what happened to me in that diner on a cold winter's night. Balls! In the eyes of the world. <laughs> I think you said it looks like I was going to put it down when I did that. Oh well, we did we did what I have to. Right, what we'll do is we'll just quickly run over here. We'll get some drink, a uh, normal drink, and uh, we can have that. No alcohol. I thought that was going to put it away. It's my own fault. My own fault. I should have walked away. So we died. I got an achievement for that, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Oh, where are you going? Right, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, why are you going over there? Go to the door. Oh. Oh. That's not right where I went. What? I don't want to go there. This game, honestly. We'll go this way. Get there. Oh, no. Get out. Go, go, go. Just remember to wash all that blood off you, Mike. <laughs> Okay, um, we can do one of the two things. We can go to the park or we can go to the police station. Which guys? Uh, which one would you guys prefer to see? Would you prefer to stay as Lucas just now or go back to Carla? What do you think? Lucas? Okay, we'll go Lucas in. Uh, make sure I've got the right one. When Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable. He's the one who took care of me after our parents died. We kind of grew apart after he became a priest. But he's still the only person I really trust. The only one who might believe that I had nothing to do with all this mess. Well, what we did in the park, we're just running around? Just for the hell of it? Are we going onto the ice? Oh, we can't go onto the ice. I'll say it, guys, I've got some of my glasses. <laughs> got dust on my glasses. It's funny, I bought anti-dust glasses and they get dust on them. Just I can't sure. leave now, I gotta speak to Marcus. Oh, okay, no. Where are you going? Um, okay, let's find Marcus. I'm taking it Marcus is back where we were. Uh, was it this way? Nope. Maybe then this way. Oh, there's a guy running. Let's try going up Is Is Marcus around here? Is this Marcus, watching the kids? I'm happy to see you. I missed you. It's been a while. Two years. So tell me what's happened, Lucas. I've killed a man, Marcus. It happened in a restaurant last night. It's like I was possessed, in a sort of trance, like I was a puppet on a string. I saw what I was doing, but I was powerless to stop it. My god. I can't believe this, Lucas. Tell me that it wasn't you. You're not capable of something like that. Uh, details. This murder. I exactly how did it happen? 
Well, after work last night, I stopped at a little diner to get something to eat. I read a book at my table, I think. And after, it's just a black hole. I don't remember anything. Right up until I found myself in the toilets with a knife in my hand. And it, was, it was horrible. And there's this, too. You cut your wrists? Before the murder, I, I carved these symbols on my arms with a knife. I don't know if they mean anything. Trance drugs. Witness a trance. You say <laughs> you were in a sort of a trance. But what do you mean by that? Are you talking about magic? Or sorcery? Or something like that? Marcus, I don't have an explanation. I'm just telling you what happened, that's all. I'm only certain about one thing. I'm not the one who really killed that man. Drugs, who knows? Witness. Were there any witnesses? Did anyone see you? Probably. I got out of the restaurant as best I could. The police still haven't identified me, apparently, but it probably won't take them too long to track me down. Powers? Vision. Vision. While I was doing this horrible thing, I saw something, or, or rather someone. Was somebody else there with you? No, it was, it was like a sort of vision. I saw a man in the middle of hundreds of candles, and, and there was this little girl. You saw a little girl? She seemed alone, lost. She, she asked me to help her. What happened to me, Marcus? What am I supposed to do now? You know me better than anyone, Marcus. Help me. Listen, Lucas, I... I'm a bit lost here. This whole story is just so bizarre. It might be better. Maybe you should go and tell your story to the police, Lucas. No, that's like a bad idea. Turn yourself in before they find really you. Really bad idea. Do you really think the police are going to believe a story like that? They'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life, and I'll never find out what really happened. I am a priest, Lucas. The fact that you have taken a life is a very serious matter. I told you that it wasn't me, Marcus. All these years and nothing's changed. You still never listened to me. Lucas, don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and my brother. I'm not a murderer, Marcus. You're the only person I can trust. I'm just asking you to believe me. Very well. I'll do whatever I can for you, but I can't do anything that goes against my beliefs. Look, I, I need to get some answers. I'll, I'll call you. <laughs> Once yeah. I just uh, Discord and maybe say that. more than I do. Can't get his internet to Marcus, work. He's got. He can't watch. Know that I don't believe in all that. It'll be on YouTube though. Uh, let's take this. Oh, we've got a plus Thanks. one lives. Oh. Cool. So, Mary, have you played this before? Or have you seen this before? The game was released in about 2005, I think it was. I've got the PlayStation 2 version somewhere. Oh shit, kid's gonna, kid's gonna fall into the water. That kid, he's gonna slip on the ice. I've gotta stop him. Oh. The cop in the restaurant. If I don't do something, the child will die. If I do do something, the cop will recognize me. What am I gonna do? What do we do? What do we do? I think we should go for it. See what happens. Oh! <clears throat> Come on. There he is. He's lost consciousness. Quick. I've got to go back up before I run out of air. Ah, this is really hard. There we go. It's really hard to get that momentum going. Uh, oh, shit. Oh. What we need to do is get the hell out here. Get up! Oh shit! Move. Wait, how did he? 
What? Thus my story ends because by the we stupidest go. of chances, I happened to run into the cop from the restaurant. As he made oh, it. come on! That is... Oh, that is so sneaky. <laughs> oh, let's, let's, let's save him then. And what we're going to do is we'll... I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> there he is. He's lost consciousness. Quick, I've got to go back up before I run out of air. Uh, come on! Okay, what do we do now, then? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, One, shit. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Patrol 324, kid just fell into the water. Send an ambulance right away. Man, what courage. The kid would have died. That guy's a hero. He dove into freezing water to save the kid. The kid never would have made it out of there without him. The cop recognized me. We both knew it. It's hard to say why he didn't turn me in. Maybe he decided I was even. I had taken a life and given one back. Nothing really changed for me. I was still wanted for murder by the police. <laughs> but when I left that park, I knew I could look myself in the mirror again without cringing. Okay, so I run. <laughs> I've got this really bad habit for a cop. Once I start working on a case, I can't think about anything else. I'm exhausted. I haven't gotten a wink of sleep all night. Something's bothering me about this murder, but I just can't seem to put my finger on what it is. Okay. So now we're playing, looks like, the police station part. So we'll see, we'll see how this, how we, how we get on, and, uh... I'm enjoying this. It's, it's a little bit harder than I, I thought, to be honest. Oh, you think so? You think that's one of the best scenes in the game? There's a lot of weird shit that goes on in this game, to be honest. Uh, can we talk to this person? Hi, Carla. Yeah. How are you doing today? Hi, Carla. Hi, Doug. <laughs> not too bad. Is Tyler here yet? No, not that I know of. So, ready for that big retirement? Eh, working on it. <laughs> Upstairs. You run them stairs. Run those stairs. No idea where we're going. <clears throat> We have to go to this part. Can't run for some reason. Oh, we can. Hey, we can Carl, run. Oh. Can you tell your partner to pay me back that hundred bucks he owes me? I've been waiting six months for it now. Can't help you there, Jeffrey. Talk to him about it. He's been avoiding me like the plague. Plus, you know, you're the only one he listens to. Catch you later, Jeffrey. <laughs> Never lend people you work with money. Hi, Carla. Hi, Garrett. Oh, wait, Carla. I got some results back on the tests we did for that restaurant murder. Great. As soon as Tyler gets here, we'll come and see you. Okay. I'll be at my desk all morning. Okay, so we need to go and talk to him at the same time. But first things first. Okay. We are in a room. Tyler is still not here. I'd better try to give him a ring. What can we use in here? Tyler hates it when anyone touches his stuff. Hmm, I was, one, I was thinking to myself, should I do something? Uh, okay, let's uh, use the phone.
Yeah? Know what time it is? Oh, shit. Get a move on. <laughs> the waitress is coming this morning to flesh out the composite on the killer. I'm on my oh. way. I wonder if that lassie he's sleeping with is 31 years old. <laughs> Alright, let's say... Can we sit down? Is it going to let us do... Oh, oh, it nearly did, it nearly did. Here we go. We can sit down now. And... Let's see what we can do on the computer. Oh, she's hunching. Not a good idea. I was doing that earlier. Not good for the back. Oh, okay. It's uh, nice to have that. Hi! Call me. No title. It's all happened before. Kirsten. What's that supposed to mean? I would have said that's Kristen for some reason. I can't read. Eh, uh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Where the hell's that? Ooh, I got a bonus. Cool. Uh, let's turn on the light. Nice. Let's turn off the light. Let's turn on. No, we're not. <laughs> right, uh, let's get up and let's go and talk to this guy about the stuff. Actually, should we maybe talk? Oh, all right, let's go to him. Let's go to him. Because he needs to be at work. And then we'll hopefully get to talk to the person that uh, has our evidence or all our DNA stuff and all let's that. Stay a little longer. Mm, sorry, babe, but I really got to go. I'll make some coffee. Okay, I'll grab a shower, get dressed, and it's not coffee. It's here. coffee, coffee, coffee. Let's go and have a shower. We're going to have a shower with our boxers on. <laughs> oh my God! Where's this going? Oh, it's not going around. I thought we were going to get a, a, a naughty scene. <laughs> hey, I thought we were, I you're also a thought. Looking guy, you know. I me. thought we were going to get some. Uh, you know what? Cuddling. Right, there we go. Let's have a peek. You know, peeing does not make you less stressed. Can we wash our hands? Apparently not. They don't like washing their hands in this game, except for when they've got blood on their hands. Okay, um, let's get some clothes on. Oh, balls. Try that again. <laughs> She's bored now. Okay, let's uh, get the hell out of here. We should probably talk to her and find out what's wrong with Oh, her. Sam looks like she's sulking. And I know what's bothering her. She got no dick. Can we talk to her? Nope. Apparently we can't talk to her. Go back to bed, Sam. You're gonna catch a death of cold like that. I'm not cold. Sam, please don't start. I got no intention of dying today. I'm sick of living in fear like this. Every morning I'm, I'm terrified that something's gonna happen to you. Oh shit, eh, uh, understanding. I know how you <laughs> feel, Sam. <laughs> I never expected anything to happen there. there. But if nobody does anything, it's all gonna go to shit. We're gonna have kids someday. I wanna leave them a world that's a little better than the one we got now. But why does it have to be you who's out there risking his life, Tyler? Why couldn't we just go to Florida and work with my family and live a normal life like everybody else? Why do I have to wonder if you're going to die every day? 
I'm just not made for that kind of life, Sam. I've been around too much violence all my life to go live some kind of normal life like that. I know you love me, babe. So try to understand me, too. You ain't gonna die. Actually, can we drink something else to get less tensed? Probably not. Okay, time to go. Get our jacket. Let's uh, get to the police station. Oh, that's the stair. That's the evil stair. Let's go. Aren't you going to kiss me? Nope. <laughs> I don't know you. I love you, Tyler. What the funky music? Get on up. Hi, Tyler. Oh, uh, Carl is looking for you. Yeah, I know. So, you ready for retirement, man? Yeah, <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm quite enjoying the music, actually. I did it. Right, we need to find... To find the guy that's got our forensic stuff. What's new, Tyler? Is it these guys? Hey, Tyler, what's new? I don't know who you were supposed to talk to. Yeah, it's this guy, isn't it? Hi, Gary. You get those lab results back? Carla wanted to wait till you got here. Okay, I'm gonna go dump my stuff and we'll be right back. Okay, let's say. Uh... Run to the office. Eh, uh, where's the office? I don't know where I am. Hey, Tyler. What's up, Frank? I think this is our office. Okay, that's not our office. Um, is our office over here? Tyler, what uh, do you know? Just the guy I was looking for. Oh, shit. You remember that hundred bucks <laughs> I loaned you about six months ago? I'd really like for you to get that back to me as soon as possible. Like maybe now, for example? Jeffrey, don't tell me you're prepared to ruin a beautiful friendship for a hundred lousy dollars. This may surprise you, but yes. <laughs> so give up the cash before I start to get really angry. Okay, okay, just give me a little more time. I'll see what I can do. Forget about it. I want my money now. Yo, let me make you a deal. I'll play you a game of b-ball for your hundred bucks. If you win, I'll give you two hundred bucks right then. But if you lose, we cool. You'll give me two hundred bucks if I win. You got my word, man. All right, you're on. But don't even think about not paying me if you lose, because that... Don't worry, Jeffrey. I'll come by and see you when I get five minutes. Hey, right, let's, let's get to the actual room we're supposed to be going to. It is that room! I think. Yeah, this, this is the room. What? Isn't it? I'm so confused just now. Where, where's our room? Is it the room over here, maybe? No, nope, wrong one, wrong one. This one. This one. Where's our room? I... What? Is it this one? Hey, I found it. Oh no, that's the way out. <laughs> oh crap. Wait, no, if I go this way. Oh no, I have to go this way. Okay. That is so confusing. Oh, wait a second. We can push. Oh, we can't push B. Right, if I go down this way, that's the way we came in from, right? So if we go like that, then our room is over here. Yes! Found it! First time. <clears throat> the 
waitress hasn't come in yet? She won't be long. Garrett got the lab results. Shall we go? All right, let me hang up my coat. I'll be right with you. Okay. See you in a minute. Yeah, so I, I, I've had that problem with money. I lent some money to go to the cinema with one of my friends from uni. And uh, he said to pay me back. And it's now been 12 years and he still hasn't paid me back. And I haven't seen him since then, since I paid for the cinema. I just said, uh, oh, you're going to pay me back? Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him since. So, uh, yeah. It's like, the other thing as well is, never lend somebody your games. Because they will damage it. Why well, do not lend my stuff out to anybody? Because uh, I got so much stuff back. I got my Chronicles of Rinnick, not Chronicles of Rinnick. The Assault and Butcher Bear, where it was called for Xbox. I gave it a shot to one of my mates. It came back and he scratched the hell out of the disc. Which uh, made me very unhappy, will we say. Uh, can we look at our mail? See what happens if we go into here. Are we going to get anything? Pleasure. A penis enlarger. <laughs> oh. Girlfriend's very hmm, insecure, what we say. Okay. I think we need to hang up our coat, don't we? And then we can go and get this test results. So let's go back down here. Uh, I know this is not a horror game as such, but um, I like this game and I don't really see myself playing games just for um, the, the whole of October because I tried that two years ago and it, it didn't go too well. So I'm happy as a, I'm happy to play so, this. What do you want to start with? Knife. What did you find on the knife? Got some good prints off it. They match those found on the fork and glass at the suspect's table. So, the murderer was definitely at that table. Anything on the blade? I'm getting to that. We definitely had blood from the victim, but the weird thing is we also found blood from the killer. Hmm. What about the pool of blood in the stall? You're not going to believe this. The blood wasn't from the victim, it was from the killer. What was he doing bleeding in the stall? I have absolutely no idea. Did okay. you find anything on the coffee cup? The only prints we found belonged to the waitress. That's impossible, man. That cup was half empty. Somebody must have drank it. Calls. Did you get the list of calls that came through the telephone at the restaurant? Yep. There were about a dozen in the four hours that preceded the murder. I'll send you a list by email. Oh. Were there any prints on the book that was under the table? Yep. And they matched the ones on the fork and the glass. So it was definitely his book. It looked like a fairly old book. Maybe we can get some more stuff out of it. So, what do you think about all that? I don't have any explanation for the blood in the stall. The victim could have wounded the killer during a struggle, but it doesn't make sense that it would be in the stall. It's as though the killer wounded himself. Hey, why not? You get clumsy fools in every other profession. Why not hmm. killers? That's kind of a flimsy explanation, Garrett. Uh, to each his own, Carla. I do the testing, you figure out the reason why. Thanks for your help, Garrett. See you later. So, what do we do now? You go take care of the composite. I'm gonna go check with the coroner and see if he got anything from the body. Okay. Catch you later. My little one thought... I, in my head I'm like, catch you later, Bill and Ted. Right, we can play Lucas. We can play Carla, or we can now play Tyler. Has anybody got a preference for this? Which one would you like to see, or which one should we go with first? I'm not sure if you get to play all of them. It might just be um, like one or two you get to play. Has anybody got a preference for what they would like to see? Anybody? We'll go for Lucas. I was 
was burning with fever. I was shaking all over. The migraine was back and drilling holes into my brain. And to top it off, I couldn't keep any food down. My body seemed to be fighting against something, but I still didn't know what. It's been drugged. It looks like Lucas is the only one that can wash his wash himself and stuff. Can we go back the way? I wonder if there's anything in this box. Oh, I got a bonus for walking the other direction. Oh, can we go this way? Oh, it's one of them weird ones, like in Robocop, where you can walk around. Okay. Gotta we just are... live my life no matter what. Don't raise any suspicions. Despite the state I was in, I decided to go to work as though nothing had happened. Ooh, we're going here. Oh. I'm in charge of computer maintenance in the Naser and Jones bank. Nice. I share my office with Warren. I used to work with a Warren. Nice guy. Yeah, I think we'd have to sit down. Unless, can we go around? Is there anything we can sneak around and see things and... No, probably not. Unless we can go into his office part. Is there anything Do you know over what here? time it is? What's wrong with you? I had a little problem on the way back in. I had to go back home and change my clothes. Here we go. What's a nice desk? Go, get ready. Get ready to do what? Oh, up, down. What the? F that was confusing. <laughs> Computer. So the, the left, right, up, down thing is going to be an absolute nightmare for me. Murderer. Lucas? You okay? <coughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Is it just me or is everyone running a little bit too fast? As in, like all these pre kind of do things, it's too fast. Lucas Kane. Hello, Lucas. Oh, hello, Tiffany. I left a message on your machine last night. Um, I'd like to come and pick up some stuff at your place. Could I come over tonight? Uh, yeah, okay. I should be back home around 8 o'clock tonight. Okay, it won't take too long. Are you doing okay, Lucas? I gotta let you go. I'm doing a thing here. Bye. Uh, I'm gonna go and check. Oh, no, here we go. We're gonna do it again. That's too fast. That is too fast. Uh, I'm going to see if there's an option to uh, slow down the game. It's too fast. Uh, what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm just going to come out of the game just briefly. I'm going to change my display down to maybe 60 frames a second or something. Uh, see if that maybe helps. Oh no, it's not going to do that. I think this game, this game is running. That was too quick. I mean, I don't think anybody could... Uh, Punch buttons that fast. Uh, I don't think they've got a. Yeah, they don't have an option in here for uh, for slowing down the game. Uh, one sec, I might have to go into my Nvidia drivers and tell it like, do this at a certain rate. Cause that that was too quick. I don't think anybody could go that fast. Program. See if it's, you never know, it might pop up straight away. Okay, we are playing. Not going to have it in here. All right, I'm going to have to do this manually. Sorry, guys, just one sec while I try to find. Oh, it's crashed. Not the game, though. The game's working fine. Except from being a bit in the fast side. <laughs> Nvidia is having a think. think yeah it's happening I think 
So what I'm going to doing in the background just now is I'm going. To, here we go. I'm going to find Indigo Prophecy and I am going to tell it play at um certain speed. Hopefully that will help us with uh, playing this game. What I need to do is find the maximum frame rate and I'm going to put it down to. I'm going to try thirty just now. See if that helps. Uh, hopefully that will fix some of the problems that we're having. Might have to go back into the game though to get this to work, but we'll get we'll give this a shot and see how this, this plays out. Uh oh. Hello? Yes, sir. We'll get on that right away. Station 62 is down. I'll go. No, forget it. I'll, I'll handle it. Whatever you say. Okay, let's uh, find out what this... I still think this game's running very, very... Now, we don't want to look at that, because if we look at that, we're going to lose uh, health. We need to go up. And... Go to station sixty. Was it sixty six? Oh, there we go. I feel like I'm in the Matrix just now. That isn't the Matrix game. Uh-oh, bugs everywhere! Okay, this seems to be working. Okay, I think that's fixed the game. Oh, what? Oh, come on! I don't know what happened there. <laughs> okay. It told me... I th oh yeah, maybe you have to wait for it to do it. There we go, you have to wait for it. <laughs> I feel like pushing the wrong buttons there.
Twitter, ¿no? Faces of the same serpent. One in our world, the other in the other world. Woe to he who sees both sides of the snake. Lucas? Lucas, what happened? Can you hear me? Are you all right? Okay. Hey, you've hurt yourself. <laughs> You're bleeding. I, uh, I gotta go. I didn't have the slightest idea what had happened. But one thing I do know, those things almost killed me. All right, that was uh, Lucas's part of that bit. Uh, let's go with Tyler this time. Come in. H Hello, Detective. Hello, Mrs. Morrison. Uh, thanks for taking the trouble to come down. Please, take a seat. That looks a, like a very now, we're hard seat. we assemble a composite photo of the suspect you saw. We have a computer program to help us. You'll see, it's really simple. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morrison? No. Ah, it doesn't a video matter. You're going to do fine. <laughs> the most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. Hey, it's from the Spectrum Game of Robocop. Scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You want to stand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Uh, I don't remember what we look like, to be honest. I think. I think that looks like it. Does it look like him? I haven't actually looked at Lucas in that kind of way. Do you know what I mean like trying to remember what he looks like? I think his eyes are slightly off. Nose. Let's see if I can get the for the nose. You think I, I think that's okay? We'll go with that, I think. Now, is this the face of the person you saw? Why, yes. yes. <laughs> At least th that's how I remember him. I'm not good at all faces. the airports, trains, and bus stations, and to all of our patrol. <laughs> if this guy is still in New York, we're gonna find him. I don't think that looks like him. A video game. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I never actually paid attention to what Lucas looks like. I just know he looks angry. <laughs> We're playing Marjorie Assistant. Okay, we're going to get started. Uh... If you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. So have I. As you wish. Not a nice sight, I'll say that. No apparent hematoma on the body. Go, get ready. Two oh, broken shit. fingernails on the right hand. What the fuck wow. did I get Large off? hematoma on the back of the cranium. Uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. He cracked his head when he fell. Abnormal dilation in, um, 
both pupils. Fuck off. This game is so fast. Why are his pupils dilated? <laughs> what it's not as fast as it was, but it's still fast. Three knife wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. Let's get ready again. The please. blade was driven in deeply. The stabs oh, seem to have been delivered from the front and moved from left to right. The murderer was left handed. One stab neatly cut the aorta. And the other two cut the left and right coronary arteries. Oh, he really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Uh, confidence, knowledge, quick, cause. It was definitely the knife wounds that caused his death? Yes. Yeah, the three arteries leading to the heart were cut. Uh, the heart was literally uh, disconnected from the rest of the body. Ooh, nasty. Knowledge. Do you think the killer had some knowledge of anatomy? Awesome. <laughs> Hello, Jamie. How are you doing? I noticed you were playing Tomb Raider earlier. I was going to pop in, but I, I literally spent an hour trying to get this game to work. So I'm so sorry. I was planning on coming and saying hello for a bit. How are you doing anyway? How did your stream go? Hello there. <laughs> Welcome you, how, to how, how far did you get? Serenity. How far did you get? Thank you very much for the follow. She's, she's got shy now. It's because I never went in and asked her to, uh, to say purple burglar alarm. Welcome new followers to the channel Scottish Serenity. I, I only joke. I mean, Jamie knows me. She knows that if I come into her stream and I wind her up, it's not intentional. Or maybe it is. I don't know. So it's, uh, how are me? I'm, how am I? I'm okay. I'm doing good. Uh, this game is working kind of. It's a little bit too fast in the um, the reflex parts, basically, uh, for me. Or either that, I'm just too old. You got to level three. That's cool. Welcome new follower to the channel. Thank you very much for the follows. Serenity. So, uh, yeah, we're playing a, a banned game. This game was banned on uh, Twitch for many years. But uh, I think it was... Was it you and me, Mike? I think we were both looking at the games. Either that or it was uh, Leo. It was somebody anyway. And we were looking at this to see if it was banned. And it's not banned now. So uh, we're playing this just now. Uh, as I said, the only problem with it is it doesn't like Windows 11, uh, 10, I should say. And it was banned because of sex scenes, as far as I remember. There's a very, there's, I don't want to say what happens, but it's, it's the way the sex scene is done. You could say that, hopefully. So uh, this has now got a, a proper rating uh, for America now, so they can actually show it. So we haven't got to that, it's towards the end of the game. But uh, if it's okay, guys, I am going to go and start playing again because I have been told Hello that there. I speak too much when people come in raiding. <laughs> so there's Bonsai. Bonsai, I got your message. Bonsai was telling me earlier that um, his internet was playing up so you can show up earlier. So that's cool, man. Cool. I mean, can't help it if your internet goes completely nuts. So the, the premise of this game, very. I'll give you a quick uh, rundown. Uh, rundown? Bring rundown? Everyone. Everyone. You mean everyone. Everyone! So good, I love that film. The the short version of this is: you start off in a cubicle, you come out, you stab a guy to death, uh, you clean up most of. Well, we got most of the evidence away except from the knife. I forgot about that. We ran, and now we've got the cops on our trail. Uh, we were just in his the guy that killed everybody's office, or the guy's office. He killed one person, and he he got he just went nuts basically. And uh, we're now playing the cops. We're in the mortuary with the dead body, and we're trying to figure out what happened. So we're trying to do that just now. The problem is it's quick time events and this game is running too fast for the quick time events. Just like me speaking. I speak too much. I speak too quick. Anyway. Oh, come on. Four, <laughs> three, two, Good thing one. is this only happens once every 30 minutes. <laughs> I'll have to let this play out. If you haven't seen Human Traffic, watch it for this scene. This is a great scene. This is not the music it goes with it, by the way. <laughs> I actually edited this to make it work with it. <laughs> I 
Uh, she turned all these off. <laughs> there you go. That's uh, the do not redeem. Bonsai, how much how much points do you have? Bloody hell. Alright, let's get back into this game, guys, because uh, I don't want anybody to say like he's taking too long, I'm away. So here we go. I doubt that someone who understood human too many. <laughs> You'd really have to be deranged to want to provoke a slow and agonizing death in this map. So this is the remastered version, by the way. Higher textures, uh, very fast frame rates. I uh, saw a case like this once before. Barely works. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing would <laughs> It struck them. That's it bad the, jokes. Um, <laughs> what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten. Yes, Kirsten does. You know about that case? Not yet. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. So as far as I remember, as far as I remember these guys went on to do the other type of interactive games later on. I could be wrong with that, but I think they did the likes of... Um, see, this is where my brain stops working. Uh, well, they've done other interactive games. They're on the PlayStation. Hey, we're going to start thinking, I think. This is the guy, by the way. Empty. Oh, oh I did get it wrong. The office, I began to wonder if I wasn't going nuts. I had to do his face earlier. I totally exhausted that I can't fall asleep. I uh, totally got it wrong. I'm afraid of the dreams I might have. I wander around the room a little. I guess I'll go to sleep when I can't keep my eyes open any longer. I like the cop's jumper. I was going to say it earlier, but I just thought, nah, I'm not going to say it. So, uh, Until Dawn and all that, I think this is, that's done by this company. No. Yeah. I don't know, actually. No, maybe not. What's that game that came out where the guy goes, uh, Jason! Jason! All the time. Uh, Heavy Rain. It's about the folk that did Heavy Rain on PlayStation 3 or 4. So this is like one of their first kind of games. Let's see what's on the TV. A man dove directly into the frozen water at Central Park today to save a child who that had was tumbled in by accident. The young boy was successfully resuscitated and will completely recover. That was us. This courageous rescuer disappeared before the ambulance had even arrived. Apparently a case of a reluctant hero. Nice. Okay. The investigation continued. Oh, bollocks. That was going to say, but they're looking for him now. Because uh, we, we killed somebody. Uh, right, what are we doing in here? Are we going to sleep? Or, you know what, let's see if we can... We can't take alcohol, we died. We took medication and then died. Because uh, I thought I was putting down the bottle, but end up doing the complete opposite. Can we drink more milk? That should hopefully get us uh, a little bit higher in our uh, rating. Hopefully. Hopefully it's going to. Is it going to? A little bit. Hey, we're tense now. Good. So, has anybody played this game before? Over here, if you're in the UK, it would have been called uh, Fahrenheit. If you're in America, it's called Indigo, Indigo Prophecy. Never played this. Uh, I know Mike's played it, but uh, I just wonder if anybody else has played it. Uh, let's see if we can close the window now. Like it just does not change anything. Uh, let's see what's on the computer. I remember liking this back in the day. I remember it, it kind of got a bit weird because I took a certain direction in the game and it was like, what the hell? I got no. Nobody loves me. I've got no messages. Or sorry, I've got no new message. <laughs> so this is technically an interactive game with uh, quick time events. So you've never heard of it. It's, it's not for everybody, but uh, I, I, I'm enjoying it. Can we go to... Oh, oh, oh can we heal ourselves up even more? Uh, oh. Let's take more pills. Hopefully that doesn't kill us. <laughs> well, I was going to say, Jamie, if I ever move down towards your neck of the woods, you'll have to come over and we'll have to introduce you to Robocop for a start, film-wise. And... Um, We'll get you to play some older games, and hopefully you'll like them. And we'll go to bed. No, not you, I mean, sorry, I mean the guy. <laughs> That's embarrassing. 
That was a uh, that, that that didn't sound right saying that. Can the character go to bed? <laughs> See, I'm blushing now. Dirty calf, yeah. Oh, this is his girlfriend or sister. I don't know. Let's uh, see what happens. Hey, he does the same with I do the same with my bed. I just get out of my bed and leave it as is. <laughs> it's been a while since I've slipped. Uh, had a bit of a slip of the tongue saying the wrong thing. Robocop. You know what? I'm actually thinking if you got to see Robocop, you should maybe watch the theatrical version Hi. first and, and Hi. then see the director's cut afterwards. Because the director's cut is uh, no, it's I'm just a little bit sleepy. Come it's only twenty, it's only twenty seconds uh, more, but it makes so much more violence. Great film, though. Have a seat. Now, as far as I remember, I think you can sleep with this lassie if you get the right things done in the game. We're probably not going to try to do that because I don't want to get banned. <laughs> Uh, glass new stuff. I'll go and get your stuff. It's just two boxes. I'm not sure exactly where they'd be now, but they shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, they've got my initials on them. Okay, can can we talk to her still then? If we can go back. Maybe not. Alright, so what we can do is we can do this. Uh, two boxes. Is this the boxes over here, maybe? Uh, see where is she? She's over here. Yeah, this is one of her boxes. Oh yeah, it's it's literally twenty seconds that were cut out to give it. Uh, sorry, excuse me, one, one second. <coughs> it it was uh, twenty odd seconds cut out to uh, get it down to an, an R rated license, uh, not license rating in America. And uh, it is a good 20 seconds if you like gore. <laughs> like, really good. Oh, here we go. It's over here. I can see it. Here we go. Give her boxes and uh, try not to sleep with her. It, Robocop is such a, a good film because it's not just an action film it's a satire okay, Lucas? it's a comedy you look stressed it's a very gross film reassuring I had a few for, health problems but I'm reassuring. better now that's good uh, alone leave cement sentimental kiss no hey, let's go Sam I miss you you know <laughs> I miss you too. Oh, a load kiss. Fuck it, go for it. Oh, he's getting pretty close there. Like, not gonna happen, is it? No. Nope. I'm still not ready, Lucas. Let's play the guitar. I that always works. Time to be alone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have. I'm gonna go. Thanks for everything. See, just like real life. He's me, except I don't kill people. <laughs> it looks like she's gonna fall over her uh, her jeans. The guitar. We should have played the guitar. I've got a guitar. I don't have to play it. Hello there. <laughs> thank you very much for the. the this one. The, we won the flowers. Yeah. Thank you very much for the follow. Maybe thank you. It was better this way. After all, oh, I had no idea what was going to happen to me in the next twenty-four hours. Right, my, my setup for at this point to a girl like Tiffany. My setup isn't By the best. Go, I was protecting her. I went to bed. I've got a microphone right for me to do but try to sleep and let's pause him just now talking over him. Yeah, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, my my Twitter feed and all that is right in front of my microphone so it's very hard to read anything. Find out what tomorrow is going to bring. Okay, uh, let's go and drink some more milk and see if we can make a pee the bed. I can't, but I mean, there's no harm in having a, a try. Oh, oh, oh. 
Drink some more milk. Drink milk. Milk. There we go. Are we going to get out of the stressed phase? Probably not. Oh, it's done nothing. Part of the milk only increases your uh, whatever the hell it is once. Oh, where am I going? Right, let's go to bed. Should we go after her? Can we go after her? Actually, is she out there? Please be out there. No, she's not there. She's gone. There we go. Right, let's go back to bed. <laughs> Bedtime! In game nuts. You can have nightmares. Oh shit, I left the windows open. Fair enough, I closed the window. It's a grudge! Ring! Is it the ring or the grudge when it comes out of the TV? It's the ring, isn't it? Oh, the front door's open! The front door's open! And the, that door's open. What the hell's going on? Like, like, is that the music? Is the music on? No, I thought maybe the thing was on. Right, <laughs> let's close our let's close our windows. That's something I should have probably done. Uh oh, this is not good. Oh, look, the front door is open. Uh, uh, not that kind of game, Jesus. <laughs> you gotta lock yourself out, man. Like Lewis does. Little kid! Run for your life! As an adult, run for your life from the kid. Oh shit, quick time event probably. <laughs> no, no, it's, no, it's just, a, just a nightmare. Dreaming about kids though, that's a bad thing. That little girl again. She seems so real. I must be losing my mind. Oh shit, we're going really low. I thought we'd maybe go up. You mean in the uh, thingy? Whatever the thing's called. Hey right, guys, are we gonna go for Lucas, Carla, or Tyler? I'll let you guys decide. Whoever writes first gets the vote. Who should we go with? Tyler? Okay. Let's go with Tyler. Oh, actually, let's make sure. Yeah, Tyler. We're going to the gymnasium. I had some shit on my mind this morning. I knew Samantha was depressed, but I didn't know what I could really do about it. I was happy to be back in here. Man, I love that smell of old leather and sweat. Maybe I could <laughs> just forget about everything for an hour and just get in a good workout with Carla. Good workout. <laughs> Damn, you look a little out of it, Carla. You sure you're cool? I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Okay. Where'd you go? Let's warm up a little then go for it. You went to school, don't you? when you're ready. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, are we going to do like, uh, are we going to try to do, outdo each other? Oh, a gymnasium. Okay. I used to go to one. I gave up my, oh, I gave up my, uh, gave up my gym membership. I've only got like another four or five days to go. Three. Oh, Jesus. Four. Five. That is really hard. Six. Six. Six, let's go for ten. Let's go for ten. Oh, God, that was really hard. Seven. Eight. Eight. Come on, man. You can do it. We can do ten. We can do ten. We can do ten. We can do ten. I am... My fingers are really hurting. Too much fingering. Nine. I know that sounds really weird. That sounds really weird saying that bit. My fingers are really sore from all the fingering. Come on. Ten. Yeah. Oh, it it yeah. actually stops at ten. <laughs> in pretty good shape this morning. One more set, and I'll be ready to get in the ring. Okay. I feel like Rocky just now. Uh, are we going to talk to her? Partly not. Uh, can we do anything else? I don't think we can. We must be able to do punching bags and stuff. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's this? What's this? Is this someone else? see if we can do this one. Just pretend you're going da -da -da, da -da -da, in the background. One. Fingers are still hurt. Two. 
three. Can you hear that? Four. Five. I've got it right next to the microphone. Hopefully you can hear that. Six. So my finger's going nuts. <laughs> Seven. No! I'm starting to lose it. My fingers are starting to... Oh, shit. Eight. <laughs> my fingers are hurting. My fingers are so hurting. Nine. <laughs> Too much fingering. Ah! Don't do it! Ted! Yeah. Yes! Cool. Oh, God. I'm I'm, well, see, my fingers are going to be so muscular. My pointing fingers, that is. I, I think... I think it's time to go and... Oh, oh, can we do her? Do her as well, sorry. Oh my god. That's bad. I don't know if I can go through this again. Can we go to the punching bag? Nope, apparently we can't do... Nope. Oh, go back to... Right. Got a nice walk, though. Look at that walk. Hi, I forgot my name, but... I'm gonna kick your ass. Let's uh, see if we can get some water. Can we splash water on her? Go, 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 go. Right, let's just go into the match thing and let's see what happens. Let me know when you're ready. <coughs> okay. Oh, uh, we got to let her do it, I think. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Can we talk to him? I don't think it's going to let us go into the ring. I got to go and talk to her. Oh, here we go. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. No, oh, no, apparently she's, she's, I don't think she's ready for us. Can we talk to her? Can we not go into the ring? Shit, have I got to do the exact same thing he was just doing? Oh, there's a card. I got a card. All right, let's let's see. Can we puke into that? No. Nope. All right, I think I've got to go and do some stuff. Ah, oh, fuck! I'm not gonna look forward to this. I'll tell you. All right, can you go into this one? Yeah. Okay, here we go again. <sighs> one. Two. Three. Come on! Four. Five. Come on, go for ten. Six, go for ten. Seven, big girl. Go for it. Eight. Nine. Ah, oh, fuck. Ten. Come on, go for ten. Ten. Yes. One last set and I'll be ready to fight. What? This game is punishing me. <laughs> Game doesn't like me. Okay, we've got to do one more thing apparently. Is it going to be weights? Is it going to be this? It's not going to be that one. Is it going to be this? Nope. Is it going to be that? Nope. Are we going to do skipping of some sort? Oh, we are. Oh, we're going up. Let's do this. Where she rocky? Did I say that? Did I say she rocky? Rocketta, Rocketta. That's what her name is. Oh, what happened there? Okay, I'm warmed up. Oh, I'm ready okay, to get in the ring. I thought I fucked up. Okay, let's go into the ring and let's kick his body. Booty, body. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Las Vegas for tonight's match between. Terrible Tyler Miles and Killer Carla Valenti. Woo! Oh yeah, and who's always kicking out the crap about me acting like a kid all the time? I love the music. Right, what we've got to do here is it's going to be a. <coughs> is it going to be? It's going to be sequence. Oh, holy shit! That's impressive. Fuck is. Ooh. 
Oh crap! Oh shit! <laughs> Carlos kicking up his ass. Oh, okay. The sex music. I think Carlos. Carlos. Oh shit! Carlos. Gonna yeah. <laughs> My brain can't compute this. Ooh, How is he surviving this? Get on up! Yeah. I, I think I'm in love with Carla. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, crap! Ah! Ooh, we've got some Tekken shit going on here, like. Get on up! Yeah, that's right! Get on up! Go. Uh, good shape with this sparring match as Carla. I was raised in a Shaolin monastery. The monks taught me all the evil secrets of Kung Fu. What? No shit? <laughs> Tyler, you can't believe anything I tell you. I think the um, no, nothing about you surprises me now. The interactive parts are running too fast. Not as fast as it was though. Uh, let's not do that again. I don't no, think I can take that anymore. That. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a shower and get back to work. Get on up. Get on up. Can't get that restaurant murder out of your head, huh? I just feel like there's a piece of the puzzle missing. You're busting your head for nothing. The guy's a psycho. End of story. Yeah, maybe. Oh, it's a cop! Sure I didn't even realize it was a cop. We'll get it. The guy who leaves that much evidence behind on a murder one, he's gonna slip up somewhere. Yeah, you, you see her boobs there, huh? Simple, Tyler. I really do. And well, depending on how you play the game. Ten years. She, she does cowboy, as far as I remember. Ten years since my parents were killed oh, in a car We're back on, accident. and we've got something. We've got I've a shovel. Never completely recovered oh, from losing them. <laughs> you never really get over something like that. Considering where, where? all that's been happening oh, to me lately, card. I thought maybe I should go and meditate at their grave a little this morning. No, there is a person there. Who's this? Can we talk to this person? I'm happy that you could come. Oh, sorry, it's his brother. This is Carla, it must be. John and Mary Keane. John and Mary Keane? Who's that? It's his wife. No. Oh, it's his son and wife or something. No. I don't know. Lucas, come on, Lucas. Come and play. You can't spend your whole life just sitting in the corner. Lucas. Get a flashback. Oh, we are. Lucas, you coming? I don't want to, Marcus. Leave me alone. I've about had it with you, Lucas. You're always off by yourself. You never talk to anyone. You never play with anyone. I'm starting to think maybe you're crazy. You're weird, that's for sure. Is that bad? Come on, do me a favor. Just play with everybody this one time. How about hide and seek? We could go play in Hangar 4. No way. You know we're not allowed to play in there. Who cares? We can get in through that hole in the fence like last time. Nobody will see us. We can get inside the hangar from the back door. Good idea. Let's do it. Are you coming with us, Lucas? No, we're not going yet. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. No problem, Jeremy. Thank you very much for the raid. Hey, hopefully this has been a little bit entertaining. It's a strange game, but I'm enjoying it. It's great. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, whoa. 
Oh, they're going inside this bit. So the first... Oh shit! Oh, you're gonna get crushed. Okay, so the first one we need to do is go... Four. It's gonna burn. Marcus and the others will get caught in the fire. Quick, I've gotta warn someone. We've gotta save oh, them crap, before brother, it's too late. What have I done? I fucked up. Hangar 4 is going to explode, apparently. But how do we get to that? There was, there was not a thing. There was a broken bit of whatever the freaking hell it was, not it? I think I fucked up, guys. I think I've screwed this up. Oh, have I got to rotate? <laughs> look, his hat is the shining. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look, his hat uh, definitely the shining, yeah. Oh, crap. Yeah, Lucas has the shining. I should get right what you're saying, Mike. I might have botched this one up. Don't move or I'll shoot. Shit. How did he wear? There was nobody there, right? There was nobody there. They got very good eyesight. Don't move or I'll shoot. What? Okay. Have I got to wait for a truck or something? I think I've got to go down here. Don't move nope. or I'll shoot. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What have I got to do? Have I got to wait for the truck to come back? Oh, here comes the truck. Oh, shit! Okay, I get the point. We're, we don't move until the truck shows up. I get it. I get it. Then, really creepy kind of music. Like, like not a creepy, uh, anxious mu music. <laughs> I like the shiny new G. Don't oh, for co you. Come on! Ugh. I've completed this game. I don't know how, but I completed this game back when it first came out. In What's everybody's preferences for these kind of interactive movie games? Is it something you guys are into? Because I've got loads more of these kind of games I can play. Shit! I mean, oh darn it. Burnt the muffins. What? This game makes no sense. Ooh. 
Who the who, who the hell saw us? No, what are you doing? Don't move oh, up, come sure. on. He moved forward. I didn't tell him to move forward. Yeah. I think what I need to do is just... Uh, you know what I should be doing? I should be looking at the map thing. Uh, it, it tells you roughly where you are. I think I need to follow that. And it might tell me where to go. No, 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 don't do it again. Right, here we go. Oh, there's a guy there! There's a guy actually to our, our, our right. That's. That makes no sense. There's a guy over there. I that bit. Ah, oh, so it's not just me, Mike. Okay. Not just me getting this wrong, then. <laughs> Love the music. It's so eerie. So, somewhere around here... If I just stand here, what happens? Don't move or I'll shoot. Where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go back towards the fence? That's the only thing I can think of is to go back to the fence. The only other thing I've thought about is we can maybe go... Oh, maybe we've got to go down... Maybe we've got to go down the bottom of there. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, that was close, that was close, that was close. Run! Run like a kid! Maybe I've got to go down here. Let's try going down... Oh, shit! Try going down this way. Ah, there we go. I went too far. I went too far. That was confusing! Go in. In, in, in. Go, go, go. Save your friend from getting electrocuted. Lucas, what are you doing here? I thought you didn't want to play. Get out of here now, Marcus. The hangar's going to explode. Huh? How can that- Don't ask any questions, Marcus. Get out now. It's about to explode. I'll He's got, keep a, looking for He's the got a man's voice. A man's voice. Oh, right. Um, need to find a bit. Oh, we're stuck. Is it over here? Nope. It's over here, isn't it? It's over. Here somewhere, right here. Is, that, is there, right? That's the bit. That was the, that was the part we need to be at. It was right. It's right here. Right. So there's there's nobody here. Try going upstairs. And there's no good. Oh, there's, there's one. There's one. Got you. Found what you. are you doing here, Lucas? The game's over. Everybody's gone. You can come out now. Go, go, go. Oh, that's just great. Why didn't anybody tell me?
How many more kisses are there? There are two, isn't there? I'll find two more. Is there going to be enough time? Will I find all the kids? Or will they all, or will they all die? Somehow, I think they're probably all going to die. Okay, there's nobody over here, right? This camera angle is just absolutely shocking. Even the camera moves, your actual controls change, which makes it really hard to control. <laughs> Is there anybody in here? Oh, wait, there's something there, there's something there, there's something there. Get the fuck. Bug? There we go. Fuck, Lucas. You're going to give me away. The hangar's going to explode. you got to get out of here I right now. I think I fucked up. What kind of crap is this? You get out of here and stop trying to ruin the game. You are going to get out of the hangar right now. I'm not kidding. Shh, Lucas, you're a total nutcase. Yeah, I fucked up. But there's still one kid in here, right? I gotta get out of here before everything explodes. Too late. We're dead. Oh. Lucas, are you hurt? Did, did no, we die? Just a few scratches. And the others? I did everything I could, Marcus. I didn't. I didn't manage to get them all out. How did you know it was going to happen, Lucas? I saw it. I saw it before it happened. Don't ask me how. You know they'll never believe that. I know. Lucas, are you all right, Lucas? We saved, what, three people? That's not bad. Lucas, can you hear me? Oh shit, we're really bad. I did a little checking around, without giving your name, obviously. I was told about a person who was familiar with, let's say, unusual phenomena. I think do, that do, maybe do, do, do. she could help you. Here, Phenomenal. this is her address. You know that I don't believe in any of this, Lucas, but I sincerely hope that she can give you some kind of answer. I hope so too. But do I? We need to get something to make ourselves a little bit um, more happy. Uh, so, otherwise, how's that restaurant over? murder case coming along? We've got a few leads, but no suspects for the moment. There's some troubling elements about this case. We know it probably wasn't premeditated, and it wasn't done for money. What's your theory? So, ritual. Several elements match the MO of a <laughs> ritual killing or a mystical trance. The choice of weapon, the killer's cutting himself, the manner in which the victim was stabbed with precise cuts to the heart. All this points to a religious sacrifice. He might be a Satanist or something like that. Do you think there's much chance he'll kill again? Uncertain. We don't have enough information to determine that right now. He might do it again tomorrow or we might never hear from him again. I want this nut job behind bars ASAP. Do whatever you have to do. So. What's the plan now? Check the local hospitals to see if they've had any men with knife wounds in. Check with all the psycho wards to see if they've got any ex-patients out on the streets who might have been capable of something like this. Okay, anything else? Yeah, book we found under the table. Garrett left it on your desk. See if you can make anything of it. Okay, I'll get on all that stuff right away. What are you gonna work on? There's something that I need to verify. Mm -hmm. As far back as I can remember, I've been frightened by small spaces. Whenever I'm in a small, confined place, I the dark. start to panic. I have trouble breathing, and I need to get out right away. Yeah, you've heard the name. Claustrophobia. Well, I, I had decided not to let my fear control me. I decided to try and fight it every chance I got. I should do that with I'm going to stay calm. Everything is going to be fine. I'm going to breathe deeply and walk without stopping until I find the computer terminal. Okay, we're going into the darkness. There should be a switch box around here. Oh, no. 
going. Oh. Okay, we need to find the switch box out here, apparently. Where is the switch box? There's no way I'm leaving here empty handed. I don't think there's a switch box here. Gotta be somewhere, and I'm not leaving until I find it. Is this the switch box over here? No, that's, that's a, a audio thing. Oh, here it is. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you can press the L button and the R button alternatively. Alternatively, oh my god, uh, to make Carla breathe. Otherwise, she won't, probably won't. <laughs> uh, keep the pointer in the middle of the gauge to make Carla stay calm. Oh shit! I'm Wait, what? I can't breathe. I gotta get out of here. Oh, have you got to do the opposite? I'll come back later. No. I can't control my fear. No, 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 no. I want to do this. Come on, if I can go up the bloody uh, Arc de Triomphe, I'm scared of heights. She can do this. Come on, Carla. We know you can do it. Oh, wait! Nothing's happening. I can't take it. And nothing happened. I pushed left. Too much for me. Have you got a push left and right? Maybe I maybe got that wrong. Uh, try that again. Sorry, guys. I'm a little bit slow today. <laughs> I'm always slow. Uh, I think you've if you got to hold both of them, maybe. I don't get this. I Mike, do any it. ideas what's going on here? Because I don't get this. Too much for me. Every time I push what it tells me to do, it goes the complete opposite way. <laughs> and if I push the opposite way, nothing happens. I'm so confused. <laughs> Wait. I can't I don't, take it. I don't understand it's this bit at all. I don't understand this. So we go in here. Not let me. I'm pushing left. Nothing's happening. I can't yeah, take it. I've uh, it's just too much for me. I've pushed left, and nothing was happening. Oh, maybe, yeah, I get you. I think what you're saying is you've got to do more of the same to get to go back, maybe. That's, it's so confusing, though. Especially when you're streaming to people. <laughs> oh, okay. That is so confusing. Anybody is supposed to understand how to do this, though. Very strange. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I don't think that's going to work. Go over this way. Then this one won't move because that's over. It. Right, let's try this one and see what happens. Oh, okay. Made it, made it without dying once or restarting. <clears throat> Here's the archive terminal. <laughs> you can consult the file here. 
Save files are classified by year. I'm, I'm putting it down as an old Custom game. Files should be in the 1990s. It shouldn't be too hard to find. It's an old game, so it's got really shit controls. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, we need to go to the 1990s, do we? Oh crap! I can't take oh, it. Oh no! It's just too much for me. <gasps> no! What happened there? The lights turned off and she ran for it. Please don't tell me we have to do all that again. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the computer to start with and then see if anything happens when we go to this. There's no power to the terminal. I guess there must be a switch box somewhere. Oh, it's down that way. Okay, so we need to go that way first. Yes! We have a switch box. I don't remember this part in the game. I had no recollection of this at all. Here, son. Oh, there's something there. Here are the files starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. We definitely don't, because we need to get into the 90s, she said, but we'll do this anyway. I know that's not going to be the right one. Mm, nothing on Kirsten. This not be the right disc. I know it's not, because we're supposed to go to the 90s, but the last time I went to the 90s, it didn't go too well. Why don't we go down here? It's starting. My hands. They're shaking. Please be the right one. I'm having trouble breathing. I've just got to stay calm. Mm, nothing on Kirsten. It must not be the right disc. Okay, we need to move the... So it's going to be this one. It has to be this one. Here are the files starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. Oh, this is it. Is this the right one, though? Mm, nothing on Kirsten. Shit. <laughs> be the right disc. Okay, so it's the right side. It must be over this side. Here are the files starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. Please be the right one. Nothing on Kirsten. Oh. Must not be the right disc. Oh, crap. They said 90s, right? Oh, shit. That's not going to move. Not going to move. We have to go around the other side. I, I'm saying myself, it's too easy, is it? It's too easy for us to get it from that bit. It has to be right at the back. So what we need to do is move this one back and then move the other ones. Unless we can, no we can't get in there, we're going to have to move this one. It's starting. 
My hands, they're shaking. I'm having trouble breathing. I've just got to stay calm. Can't let the fear get out of control. It's too easy if it was that one. Oh, it's the 80s anyway. Oh shit! <laughs> that was close! <laughs> I thought I was gonna lose it there. To be honest, being in a basement like this would probably creep me out as well. Hey, would, would you guys be creeped? Yeah, creeped out being in a, a place like this? Yes, I would! Oh yeah, see, I thought you'd say that. Okay, two to go. Let's try this side. Go for the best. There the file starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. Yeah, I totally didn't realize it was the eighties to nineties we were looking in last time. Stupid me. All right. See what happens? Please be the right one. It's not going to be, is it? It's going to be the other one. I think I found it. Yes. File is empty. No report, no evidence, nothing. Wait. There's the name of the detective in charge of the investigation. Robert Mitchell. Carla asked me to see what I could find out about the book we found in the diner. It might be able to tell us something about the killer. I inquired in the office and I ended up in a bookshop specializing in old books run by a guy named Takeo. I'm dancing just now. Hey, where are we looking again? Was it Gail or something he said? Um, I wasn't paying attention, guys. Did anybody hear what, what he said? I thought it said Gale or Kale or something, but... Oh, there we go. Maybe this will go. Yo. Oh, Ah, <clears throat> right, Gale, yeah. You lose something? Oh, oh I am sorry to cause waiting on you. Your presence here brings honor to my miserable shop. Uh, my name is Takyo. Uh, tell oh, shit. me what I can do to make you happy. Damn. This guy looks just like that old Chinese dude in Gremlins. If he I was thinking, me a I was thinking box little box big loop. I am gone. You're trouble in little China, but. A uh, case. Well, oh, I no need shit, we need info a book. on this book. I'm conducting a murder investigation and. You, immigration? You come like my pet up? Old paper store family is legal. You verify it. No problem. Okay, okay, calm down. I'm not here to bust you. <laughs> if you no got warrant, you go now. This private property. Yeah, great strategy, Tyler. Nice work. Uh, Can you just take a look at it? You must have seen books like this one before. Ah, many times, yes. I very sad to say, no can be helping you. Thanks anyway, at least I tried. Shit, I was supposed to go for a book there, I think. But you were saying... Ah, uh, maybe you know. there is something I can do for you. Okay. One client order very rare book. Since this morning, I look for it, but impossible to find. You find this book, and I tell you all you want to know. Okay. So, what does it look like, this book you want? Ah, easy. It from same collection as this one. Okay, I ought to be able to handle that. Bring back the sacred diamond of the old sage of the mountain, and he will give you the magic talisman. 
Oh man. What am I in a video game? <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, we've got three places we can look at the moment. So Cave Nikadas. Where, actually? He's just going to look at the same thing again. Move the mind. Oh, right, okay. Move the mind and find glass with the joystick. Or okay. We've got a one. Not if that means anything. Eighteen eighty four. Oh, something up here. To my something handwritten in pencil here. Brother. To my brother for his 18th birthday, MK. Okay, we've got an MK. Oh, That's interesting. Okay. That, that could be interesting, though. I don't think there's anything else that's going to be... Uh, What I'm going to do is, I'm going to find my phone and we're going to take some pictures so I don't have to remember all this. Because my memory is not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a picture of these names, just in case. Um, we've got the, the name MK, I think it was, so at least we've got some stuff that we can uh, buy out. Oh, we fell down on the floor. Better pick up this. A torn piece of paper. It looks like a computer printout of a bunch of numbers. It fell out of the book. It must have been a bookmark. I'll check it out at the office. Oh. Okay, so the next thing was upstairs. This wasn't it. M M K. Was it, it was MK, wasn't it? Oh yeah, we've also got um, Alonzo. Is it got? Oh, wait. Alon, Alonzo, Sebastian, and then we've got Antonio and Ferdinand. Definitely them. There's no MK in here that I can see. We'll leave that just now. And the next thing was his book thing, wasn't it? Oh, at this side. Can we go up the stairs? Hmm. So what we're going to do is probably look for MK. Michael Knight, <laughs> Michael Knight, yeah. <laughs> the night, I was going to start singing the Knight Raider song, uh, song there, but uh, probably best not to. Um, oh shit, we never took down a, uh, we never took down a date. We need a date as well, a date. As in, not a date with a, a woman or a guy, but uh, we need a date of what's in the book. So, do uh, you think it's 1884? Uh, what we can do though is, oh, yeah, let's just have a double check just to make sure. Uh, come on. Why won't you let me? Why won't, it's not. It's not letting me open it up for some reason. You think it's 1884, Mike? That's weird. Why would it? Why won't it let me open it up again? You think it would let you redo it? 
Uh, can we talk to this guy? Like, let's talk to him just quickly. So it says it was in the book. I think he's waiting for me to bring back his stupid book. Okay, so 1884. Let's see if we can find that. 18. Oh, uh, Mike, there's no 1884. <laughs> Uh, what we'll do is we'll just go to this then. So, uh, G and M, so we're looking for that one. Okay, so the red. Third floor. Okay, third floor. Let's give that a shot and see if we can find it up there. Oh! Third floor. So this is the second floor? We're going all the way upstairs. The, floor, the third floor. Okay. Oh. Yeah, let's try over here. If the book you're looking for isn't here, then it doesn't exist. How do we know which one's which, though? Thousands of old books. How do we know which one's How do we know which one we've got? I mean, it could be many, many, many books <laughs> that we could be looking through. Shit, where do we? How do we Wait, right, change the freaking camera. Can we change the camera? Okay, can change the camera. This is like the worst camera angles ever. How do we get down? Oh, we go down this way, don't we? No, go down. Go, get down. No, go down. Whenever you change camera angles, it just dies. <laughs> oh, apparently we can't do the magnifying glass now. Do I have to just hand it to him? Oh. We've got that wrong, have we? Okay, here's your book. I think maybe you've got a problem with your eyes. Damn this it. not book I want. Alright, alright. I'll keep looking. I think we might have been doing this wrong. Because we haven't got books in 1884. Because we've only got that. We've only got those. So yeah. How, how do we know what's right and what's wrong? And for some reason this thing will not allow me to look at the book again, for some reason. I don't know why it... Am I doing something wrong here, guys? Like, why is it it won't let me... Why won't it let me look at the inside the book again? It lets me pick up our book, but it won't let me look at the book. Do you have a book and evidence? Do we have an evidence? I don't think we do. There's no option. Oh, there is. <laughs> I didn't even know we had this. Uh, oh, well, I don't think that's going to do much, though. Can we? Can't do anything here, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. You use the right analog stick to change mode. Oh, oh, there we go. Um, I think that's it. Metal Carla. So, is this. There we go. Today. Yeah. Book we found under the murderer's table, special blah blah blah. That's it.
Otherwise, this, this is the only things we get. I don't think we're going to get anywhere with this. Doesn't feel like this game wants me to, to do anything. That's all we're getting. And I'm, I'm pushing every other button. There is no menu for anything else. <clears throat> I see what you mean though. It says here eighteen twenty eight, so hmm. Yeah. I don't really know what to do here, to be honest, and I'm getting tired. It's uh, coming up for 11 o'clock at night. Um, unless we can figure out this soon, I think we should maybe call it quits for tonight and come back to it another day. No, I said when you go when you go through into here, you, you can go up and down sometimes. If I push right up, it goes to that. If you push right down, it goes to that. If you push any other ones. There we go. You can go backwards through this. Uh, but that's as far as it gets. Oh, here we go. We went to here. Uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. The knife, blah, blah. The killer, book under his table. The Tempest by Shakespeare. So what we need to do is look for The Tempest by Shakespeare, maybe. See if, there's a, see if Shakespeare's in the, 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 the bit here. No. The Tempest by Shakespeare is definitely not there. Yeah, I think, except from this is going to be a pain in the ass, I think I'll call this quits tonight, guys, because I'm tired as it is, and yeah, it's only three hours anyway. You know I always stream for about three hours, so I think we'll call it quits here, because this is something I might have to come back to, maybe with a less tired set of eyes. <laughs> I don't understand this bit, like how we were looking at the book inside the book a minute ago and now we're not allowed to. I mean, yes, I think we would be allowed to. Oh, where? It says there. Groot. Groot Tola. Tola? Let's try looking for that Groot Tola. See if there's. Um, Maybe there's something upstairs to do with that. Oh, here we go. De Grutula. 1796. 1796. Okay, let's have a quick look for that. And if this doesn't work out, we'll call it quits. Because I think everybody's fallen asleep. <laughs> It is late, and I think everybody's went away anyway, so. So, we're looking for a EDB. We're looking for black on the third floor. Okay, let's look at black on the third floor. Oh, wrong button. It's got that kind of Resident Evil kind of feel to it where the camera changes and everything just screws up to the point where you can't control them. Like that. Can't control. <laughs> uh, right, so we're looking for black. Could be anywhere. I don't know if this is the area or not. Let's see. It smells like dust and old paper. I wonder where the comics are kept. So it must be one of these then. So it was F. I don't really know if which. I mean, is it this one maybe? Let's take this one. Oh, it just goes to one of them anyway. What we got? Is it? Can we, can we read it? What's that expression about a haystack? Yeah, no, he feels. Oh, 
Oh, wrong way, wrong way. We should look at the book first, hopefully, and then... Oh, it's not letting us. Right, if this doesn't work, I'm calling it tonight. Okay, here's your book. I think maybe you got a problem with your eyes. We've done what it says. It's not book I want. Alright, alright. I'll keep looking. The only other... No, there's one last thing we can try, and that is that we haven't tried the other side. Maybe... Maybe over this side. On the third floor. If there's nothing over here, I'm gonna... Call it tonight. Let's try this section, then. And if it's not this, then I think that's it. It feels like we were there a minute ago. Actually, were we there a minute ago? No, we went the other way right last time, didn't we? Alright, let's see what happens. If this doesn't work, then that's it. It doesn't looks it looks like the wrong book to be honest. Okay, here's your book. I think maybe you'll got yeah. a problem with your eyes. I think I'm just it's tired. Not book <laughs> I all right, all right. I'll keep looking. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it for just now, guys.